Today we're going to be creating our own winter gnomes. You could create any type of hat that you would like, um, as well as your beard or what your gnome is wearing. So here is my beginning of my drawing and then what I did with coloring it. So the first thing we're going to need today is a piece of paper. You can use a pen, a pencil. Um, you can also use crayons if you have crayons um, near you, or you can also use markers. Before we get started, I wanted to show you my inspiration for this project. So here is my little gnome. He's got a fun hat and you can kind of see the shapes. There's that oval shape for the nose. Can't really see the eyes, that long fuzzy beard, and you know, just that nice little shape for the body and the hat. This inspired me to create this painting of my fun gnome. And this one's uh, my Christmassy gnome and I had that displayed in the house. So you can see that I've got, you know, the same thing, the oval nose, he's holding presents, he has simple hands, simple feet. So if you wanna add that to your drawing, you can. You could also add on a floor and a background with multiple colors or just one solid color. So let's get started here. Now, before you start drawing, I want you to just follow along and see how I'm doing this. The first thing I'm gonna consider is the hat. And your shape does not have to be an exact, perfect rainbow-like look because hats don't sit the same on everybody. And sometimes I think a little change to a hat makes it fun. So here I did a little bit of a curved part. And then I'm gonna add on another layer. So I'm gonna make the lines come up and I'm gonna make that sort of um, top part, that folded part of the hat. And here you can see that I put that together this way. Then I'm gonna look at, hmm, how do I want my hat to bend over? Do I want it to go to the left, to the right? So I'm just gonna gently bring it over this way. And as you can see, both my children, my toddlers are involved in this video here. And so here I'm doing my curve and I'm adding a little snowball on here. So that's the start. From there, I'm gonna add in some other little features. When you make your hat, you could add in any sort of features that you would like. You can make a pattern, you could add in um, different textures, you could change your hat and make your hat any way that you would like. So after you do your hat, the next thing that we'll end up doing is making our big oval nose, We'll give our gnome its mustache and then we'll make a really wavy beard and then we will add on the side of the body and that is basically our awesome gnome so then you'll be able to go in add in your different details and textures for the shirt and finally we'll go in to color so that's what I wanted to quickly show you. You could always add things into your hat. And then let's get started on drawing our gnome. For this gnome that I'm gonna show us how to draw, I'll have my other one here on the side for a reference, but I'm gonna show us how to do a different type of hat and you could do your own. So looking at our paper, we want to have our gnome's hat start a little bit above the middle of the paper because we want enough room to actually have the hat. So let's start with a rainbow. And then I am gonna try a little differently. Let's go into making our big oval nose. And then after that, Let's add on the mustache. You can draw a curve, you can make it straight, you could even make it really wobbly. And you're gonna do the same thing on the bottom and connect it. So there's one side. Now let's do it on the other side. I'm gonna do a wave and underneath and connect it. Now that we've got that, 
Let's think, where do we want our beard to end? Put a little dot at the bottom of your paper, leave a little bit of space if you'd like, and from the side, right where your mustache was, draw a wavier line and connect it to that dot. Do the same from the edge of your mustache too, and bring it all the way down. Now we have our gnome's beard. After that, let's add on the side of our gnome. So you could draw a straight line, you could give it a little bit of a curve. It's up to you. And here we have our gnome's body. Now let's go to the fun part. This is where you don't have to follow along. You can create your own type of hat. I'm going to create a Christmas tree hat. So I want to think, hmm, the important part of the Christmas tree is the top. So I'm going to draw two curves and make almost like an upside down V. I bring it in. And then I make another line out. I'll bring it back in and do the same thing. You don't have to make it the same on each side. You could work on one side, go back and do the other. It's up to you. And I always connect back to my gnome. So just make sure that you draw a line down the after. And here I'm going to make a little bit of a star coming off the top. Once you've drawn your hat, go in and start adding in those fun details. What do you want to put on your hat? What patterns or lines or colors would you like your gnome to have? Is it, you know, Christmas lights on there? Do you have rainbow colors? What is something that inspires you? Or is your gnome wearing your hat? So add in those to your hat and then go in and add in some other fun things to the outfit that your gnome is wearing. You can make a little bit of a line so it looks like a line top of the hat where it's folded over. It's up to you. And you can also go in and add some texture to your beard and mustache if you'd like, like I did in my first one. So have fun and I can't wait to see what you come up with.